G'day! In today's video, I'm just going to be doing a build in the Caruza V3. As you can see, we have some fixed RGB fans in the front here, if you ignore the reflection. We do have the tempered glass raised just a bit for actually be able to draw in air, which most tempered glass cases seem to fail at doing that. Also, we do have the option of just removing it completely for maximum airflow. And I'll Built into Ryzen 5, 5600, 8, 16 gig of RAM, and either a 3050 or a 3060 to go in here. And I'll let you know my thoughts on doing a particular build in this glass box. Let's get into it. Looks like we have some hard drive trays here. One, two, possibly three. Maybe able to stick a radiator in here. Granted, it does look to be tad annoying because we had to put it in, you'll have to remove the front and these fans. One, two, three. You can see the screw holes from there. And this particular pattern here, which I'm assuming is for hard drives of any variety that you'd like to put across there. I did just route these instead of dangling down through this hole up here which these end edges are rounded, so I don't think I'm going to slice my finger. Same with up here, here. So all these seem to be nicely rounded rather than just straight cut. It's definitely pleasant. Should be able to get to the back I.O. through here, or the back CPU bracket if you need to. Spin it around. Power supply should slot in through here. And there's those hard drive trays I mentioned, which I'd say would have to use some of these, potentially, or, or some of these ones, to be able to put a drive in, which I am putting a one terabyte drive in here, so we'll be able to demonstrate that soon. In here. And plenty of room just to route these cables down and out of the way. So one drama I'm currently having is there's these grooves on the side here that only go about halfway, about halfway down the drive tray. There's these screws here. And I can slide them in. If we go around the front. How the devil am I meant to connect up those cables? I don't believe this comes out of the way, that's fixed. So you need to put the cables on, jam it in, before you do it. So, I'm not sure if I'm doing it wrong, I'll try a few different ways. But, if I swap it around so the screws are at the other side, I can't put the drive in all the way. So if I take this one off, over here, I'm going to slide it in, it stops, right there. Because that's as far back as that little groove goes. And I'm not seeing a similar kind of groove on this side, I just see a little ledge. So if I spin it around, put it on here, halfway, and see what happens. There we go. I'm trying to go this way. It won't let me. That's not very intuitive. So I've got a 90 degree SATA cable that I've already plugged in, power that I've already plugged in. I guess I'll put these two in here. What I should in theory be able to do is feed it down here. Not the preferred way, I'd rather install that drive. And I should be able to put a thumb screw on the other side of that. So I should be able to use one of these on the inside in here. 
that should be enough to hold that in. Okay, so one thumb screw tightened, tightened, oh, tightened up. It's not going anywhere. Have a look around the other side again. We're fine. I'm not sure if we'd want to use a straight edged starter cable as it's pretty darn close to that bracket. That is a tad disappointing. If that groove continued a bit further, we'd be able to stick it in facing the other way and be able to plug your power at this end. I'm not sure if I'm missing something. Had a look around, <laughs> didn't have the instructions, but I'll keep going with the build. So after removing the glass at the front, you're able to either A, reinstall these back in to kind of hide the appearance of it, as opposed to here, which you may like it like that. But one thing I did discover as well is I grab here and pull. The dust filter also slides over the screws. Like so. And from there we have the straight up exposed. So the fans, it's odd. We've got two screws down here. But then the rest are screwed in from the other side. Where I would have rather full length screws going through the fan to screw into here. So then you can take these out and easily swap it over to a water cooler or radiator in the front of the device, in front of the case. Anyway, that's just one other little quirk that I noticed. Not much else to really point out on this side of things. I'll spin it around, have a look on the other side. Just tidied it up a little bit. Got all the fans going here. Straight up down here, running down. These should have all, almost by default go straight through the hole or just route straight up, yeah, directly across as opposed to them just dangling down. Never really here though, nor there. Various spots to put hard hard drives along here if you require. And only about two drive bays, I would assume two three and a half or three point five inch hard drives could go in here. And now let's put this all back together and see what it looks like assembled. So looking at it here, we have just a constant scrolling of RGB colours. Same with the front and back. So granted this one is a budget case, so you're not really expecting too much from it. Did leave the side panel off just so it's a bit easy to see. As you see, they are just constantly changing. Do have a decent amount of airflow through here. So it's got the optional of changing it to mesh or just purely mesh at the front, like removing the front glass, which I do like that option. particular brand of fans, I can't say I've come across them before. And looking at the top here, uh, various lights, headphone mic, USBs, power, USB 3. A more upmarket version must have Type C, RGB control, restart. Not exactly a fan of having the brand there, but it is what it is. And lastly, let's put the side panel back on and see what we get. And the side panel itself does go all the way to the edge, or nearly to the edge at the back. <laughs> Never mind the front just there. So it's pretty flush, I'd say that's why it's got these weird little corner protectors on the glass, rather than having it just going around, as it does go all the way to the edge. So it down here, up the front as well. Hmm, that's a bit dodgy. Aha, uh -huh. maybe that's just so you can remove it when you like. I actually thought they were metal, it turned out they're plastic. Plastic and removable. Optional to leave them on there. But that is the Cruiser V3. Just a very budget tempered glass case. Smooth routing, smoothed cornered edges to help not slice yourself while building, which is good. And yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Hope this helps you with this case, and I'll see you later. Bye.